Week 17, term 53, let's talk about my childhood extraction orthodontics. Anyone else still not take down their Christmas tree? I've been sick for like the last week, so please excuse my voice. That's why I've been MIA lately. When I was a child, I had four premolar teeth extracted for braces. I had a small mouth. Instead of expanding my mouth to make room for all of my teeth, they took my teeth out and retracted, made my mouth even smaller, made a bad situation even worse. Prior to starting this treatment, I had a high vaulted palate. Your palate is also your nasal base. So if you have a high vaulted palate, which we oftentimes see with people that have undersized mouths, you're going to have a smaller nasal base, which usually translates into difficulty nasal breathing. The ideal shaped palate is a dome shaped palate. So when you expand the mouth, you expand the nasal base, you get improved nasal breathing. You create more room in your mouth for your tongue to properly posture on the roof of your mouth with light suction like it's supposed to. When you have proper tongue posture, this is what keeps it up and out of our airway, which is especially important when we're sleeping because when your tongue falls back in your airway, that's what causes sleep disruption, sleep apnea, and we all know how important having good sleep is for our overall health. So there's really two parts to fix this problem. One is expanding the mouth to be the right size and shape, and the other is doing the myofunctional therapy to train the tongue to stay postured on the roof of your mouth where it's supposed to be so it stays up and out of your airway.